So let's start with Tesla first, since this is this stock that a lot of people like to trade. You guys can see that within the past couple of weeks, we've had this descending wedge as spoken about before on this channel. We played this breakout from this descending wedge up to this resistance level. And as of right now, you can see that we're sitting within a symmetrical triangle. Now, a symmetrical triangle ultimately is a consolidation. Now, market structure or on the one hour, what you would see here is this would kind of be our downtrend. So for an order for this to actually be considered in an uptrend, we'd have to break over this level of 164, which is before this sell off occurred. So that's what we're looking to test right now. You can see the volume profile, which is all of these gray bars set up here. The thickest areas of volume on the volume profile, as you can see, not quite the point of control, but between right here of like 160 to 70 down to 160. Now, the normal volume bars that you'll see at the bottom of the screen here, they are the normal volume bars, which is the amount of shares that are traded within a day. What these horizontal bars represent is where the prices were traded at. So when you see a wide area with a huge horizontal bar, that means that's a high confluent area or an area where there is a lot of volume. Those areas tend to act as supports and resistances. So as we actually start to zoom in, you can see that we have a lot of volume within that area of 162.50 and 160. Our biggest pocket of volume being between 162.50 down to 162, which means that this area here is going to act as a pretty good resistance, but I have it pulled up here. So the areas that we're going to be looking for is a break up over this level, not only because that's where this big area of volume is, but more importantly, because once we're over that, there is no volume at all because this was a gap back here um, after earnings. There is no volume until we get back up to 182. So if we can push back up over this resistance level of like 162, we could definitely see Tesla push back up to 170, which is what we've spoken about before. and then. If we could get up over 170, potentially up into the 180s. But going into tomorrow, the area that you need to be watching is a break and a hold over 162.50. That is our sign to go long, or a break and a hold below 159.50, which is our sign to go bearish because there is literally zero volume from here down to like 156.50. So we're going to get a break on those sides. I'm still holding my put position, and that's because the Tesla bot has us still as a sell. And I'm following the Tesla bot because I'm not going to post something on our Discord for you guys to follow that I'm not going to follow or back with my own money. So Tesla is setting up here. Big day tomorrow as we get some key important economic numbers and also the potential for a breakout up over these levels.